Good morning, vibrant people. How are you? So today's topic is about doing less and getting more. It is so contrary to what we popularly believe, right? You know, there's so much hustle, hustle, hustle. Like our society is addicted to hustle. And I actually detest that word hustle. I think it is so counterproductive and it's so counterintuitive to human nature. If you if you if you rewind back to time, right, people would gather around in the evenings, they would light fire, they would sit around, they would talk, they would gather information, and then plan for the next day or whatever they do, whatever they did. I know we don't live in that kind of society. But this kind of hustle is actually detrimental to your well being. And have you noticed like because the new year has started, I'm paying attention to this a lot. Like I noticed so many people working super, super, super hard right now. Like there's so much like, I want to get to the gym. I want to do this and I want to do that. My gym is full these days. And um, I, there's a lot of frenzy. There's a lot of, I'm getting um, a, a, lot, a lot of advertisements to join this thing and that thing and all that stuff, right? And um, I know there's that new year energy, but I'm really going to caution you to slow down and ask yourself, what do I want? Um, and I was noticing that in myself too. You know, I'm a projector. So basically, you know, think of me as a sponge, right? And so I can absorb everything that's around me like very quickly. And then I, if I don't pay attention to that, I get caught up in that and I assume it's mine. It's not. So I have to spend a lot of time like really deciphering what is mine and what isn't. So I am going to invite you to slow the heck down. Slow down, slow down, because it's really important, people. Um, it's very important for you to slow down so that you can really pay attention to what is it that you want. I have a few tips for you for how do you decide whether something is right for you or not. Because this whole notion that you have to work hard to get to where you want to be is 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 faulty belief. It's faulty. It does not work anymore. Does not. And it doesn't mean that you don't do the work. I'm, I am working too, but I also make sure that I know what, what is important for me, like what kind of work I need to do, when do I need to slow down, what gives me that energy renewal, right? That energy renewal is vital, vital for your well-being. So if this resonates for you, please share with me in the comments, like what has resonated for you. So I'm going to give you a few tips. I'm trying to keep these videos really short so people can really get the, the in information quickly. So a few tips that I'm going to invite you to do is find the things that fill your cup. For me, like it's meditation. Like I, if I don't meditate twice a day, I'm a wreck and I'm, annoyed and irritable and all that good stuff. All that good stuff comes right in. Okay. The, the second thing that definitely tends to make me feel better is exercise. I need to exercise. And if I don't exercise or do some kind of exercise every single day, I, my, my body doesn't know how to process this extra energy, extra stuff that's coming at me. So these two things are vital for me. And then I also do some journaling. I'm going to do another whole um, episode on routines, which is another day. But for right now, I'm really going to invite you to drop into yourself and ask yourself, what fills your cup up? Second point, what makes you feel more aligned with your true gifts in life? And what makes you aligned with what you are, what your soul desires, what you desire, right? And you will know that it'll be like a full body. Yes, trust your instincts every single time. Trust it, trust it, trust it. So full on alignment, full body. Yes, that is going to tell you whether you're in alignment or not. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is I've written some notes. So I'm looking down. Um, um, the, 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 the quietening of the mind. Whatever allows you to quieten the mind, whether it is whether it is meditation, whether it's just sitting with your journal and putting on some binaural music and um, beats, binaural beats, and then just sitting and listening to the music and writing, um, whatever that is, quieten the mind. Because when you quieten the mind, you will get so much more information than you will. In the beginning, it might be hard if you've never done it, but if you, if you, if it is really going to help you. And the fourth part, this is the last one. Shut 
of social media. <laughs> Here I am doing this on social media, but I am inviting you to shut it off at least an hour before bedtime. Please shut it off because the mind's absorbing the stuff, right? And so before you go to bed, if you're scrolling, 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 and then that information is coming at you, coming at you, coming at you, your brain does not know how to shut it out. And it's going to like, you know, continue in your dream time and all that stuff. So please shut off social media in the night and don't look at it the first thing in the morning most people what we what they do is before they go to bed they're still scrolling and then they go off to bed and then they get up the first thing they do is pick up the phone and then start doing seeing seeing what's out there news or social media or emails and don't 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 do that um and and it's really going to help you so these four points are what i'm going to invite you to do to do less and get more all right All right, people, I will talk to you soon. Take good care of yourself. 